Hey, we're almost here. I had to walk quite a bit here. Some really thick snow. I had to park way on the road. There's no driveway here anymore. It's just all overgrown. But we're almost there. Look at this place. All kinds of stuff here. Cars, trucks, old collapsed barn here. Hey, welcome back, explorers. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. Hope you had a good New Year's. I'm back at it again. As you can see behind me, we got lots of snow. This place is just a gold mine here for an explorer. We got all kinds of stuff here. We got old classic cars. We got an old farmhouse. Looks like it has been built back in the early 1900s, maybe, maybe earlier than that, um, but it's all wood. It's all decayed. Looks amazing. Um, I'm gonna get some shots of the, uh, there's some cars here, some cool cars. I'm gonna go inside, take a look around. Can't wait to show you guys. Stay tuned. Let's go. Look at all the old cars here. All kinds of stuff here. Complete junkyard here. Look at these cars. A little snowmobile all over there. Look at this one. So cool. I'm assuming it's going to be totally gutted inside. But we're going to take a look here. Oh man. Pop through the window here. Oh, look at this stuff. What are these things? Are these like corks for? It's like corks. This house hasn't been lived in in like a hundred years. But you know what? Like, like look at these skis. This is an old classic abandoned house. This floor is ready to cave in, so I'm hoping it doesn't while I'm in here. Look at the wall there, it looks like scratch marks. Yeah, this is a classic old abandoned house. So I'll walk very lightly here. Oh, look at this. Oh, let me go upstairs first. Place is right beside 
the snowmobile trail. I think you could hear the snowmobiles just went by. I don't even think this house was insulated. This is just full of raccoon poop in here. Nothing much to see. There's an old bed frame there. Mattress frame. I can hear I can hear things moving around in the walls. There's definitely animals in here. What a cool place. There, look at that. A lonely chair in every house. Every house I go in, there's always one chair left behind. Someone probably sits there at night, looks out the window. <laughs> Let's get in here a bit more. Yeah, I don't think this house was even insulated. N nothing. Probably why it was abandoned so many years ago. All right, well let's keep keep going here. Hopefully, I don't step on a nail. I usually have steel toe boots on in places like this, but you know what? I like my hiking boots. They got good grip, good ankle support. My steel toe boots are just so big. When Right down there. Let's turn up the fall down there. Oh, oh there's another chair. Yeah, you know what? Like, I know lately a lot of these houses I've been exploring, they're just in really good shape, a little bit of a decay. But this one here is definitely decay. And you cannot move in here again. It's definitely a tear down, that's for sure. Such a cool place. Yeah, I'm thinking the farmer probably over the years just threw, sh threw stuff in here. Look at this, this looks like a trap. Totally. Looks like a minnow trap, but a lot bigger. I have one that you put some bread inside. The, f the fish, the minnows will swim in here, and then they can't get out, they get stuck. You get crayfish in there too. Crab. But that's something. That could be a mink trap. I'm not sure. But yeah, you can tell the farmers dump some old jars in here. It's where the old fireplace was, I guess, I'm thinking. What is this? It's, oh, it's empty. Hold on a second. I'm going to see if I can open this up. It says poison on it. So let's put that back. I don't have my mask. Paris green poison. Call doctor in case of accident. Well, let's put that back. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, opened that up. Yeah, maybe the farmer here was a trapper. Maybe he had some animal problems. 
rodent problems. But that uh, says poison right on it. <laughs> So cool. Yeah, you can see all the fruit baskets. I got the poop in here. Such a cool house. Look at this, we got some old, old pots and pans here with poop on it. There's another one here. Well, we got an old newspaper. A very old newspaper. Look at the girl in the... I try to find a date on here. It'd be neat if I could get a date. I'm saying 50s. 50s. Hold on a sec. Okay, I found a date here. I had to put my camera down. But yeah, 1960. 1960. November. So that makes sense. I totally can tell this place has been abandoned since 1960. Look at this place. Well, let's go outside and check out some old cars, I guess. See what's outside. There's the window I went through, but door right here. Look at that. Ooh, that's gross. Yeah, I don't know. There's like animals pulling stuff out here. There's like a old shirt there. Something ripped apart the book there. Look how old this book is. This magazine. It's too bad the animals ripped it up because... Oh, look at this. Someone drew a picture of a horse. This is old, this magazine. Look at, look at the cameras. They're selling cameras here for twenty dollars, eight dollars. Like jewelry. This must be like a Sears magazine or something. Oh, it's a phone book. No, nope, sorry. It's like a phone book at the back. Oh yeah, it's Sears. It's a Sears magazine. I'm trying to find a date on it here. The front should have a date on it, but it's all ripped up. I think I'm gonna put this book back. Put it back inside here for another explorer to find. Bears have been down there. Yeah, it's too bad about that magazine. I couldn't find a date on it. The front of the magazine was all ripped. But I bet you it was from the 60s. It's just like the newspaper said, 1960.
So cool. There's lots of deer tracks back here. This is like a Chrysler, this one. Pontiac? I don't know, I can't tell. I'm not familiar with this kind. This is a Chrysler. Look, we got old fridge. An old engine. All kinds of stuff here. There's actually a shed over here. I wouldn't mind taking a look here. You never know what you can find. Oh yeah, look at that. Old record player. Well, that's about it. And there's an animal hole. Groundhog, fox den. Something living in there. Look at this house. Incredible. See if I can open up this door here. This car, a lot of snow here. Oh, no. No. There's an old riding lawnmower. Let's try this door here. Oh man, there's something living in the thing. You can see there's a hole. You can't see, like, you can't see. I can see it. Um, there's a hole in the floor of the car, and it's all dirt in here, and there's something, something's been living in there. All right, let's get out of here. Let's keep going here. Get a little fuel tank here. I think this thing here, I forget the name of it, but I think it scatters all the manure into the field. Fill it up, shoots out crap everywhere. Look at this, we got an old. These are the, these are the best explorers because there's all kinds of stuff to look at here. Citation, no, what is it? Oh, a cheetah. This is a cheetah. Old snowmobile. Articat, cheetah. Cool. So cool. There's all kinds of stuff here. I gotta come back here in the summertime because there's stuff everywhere. And there's so much snow here. I can't see where I'm walking, what's underneath.
Hey, welcome back, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. I, I really like this one. I know it's, uh, there's not much left behind inside. The decay is just unbelievable here. Um, but yeah, I think this house was abandoned since 1960. All kinds of stuff left behind here outside. We got some classic cars, classic trucks. We got some old snowmobiles here. Pretty cool, guys. I really, really enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed it too. And before I go, guys, I'd like to say thank you to all of my supporters on my coffee page that donate. Um, I'd like to say thank you to John, Billy, Shay, Valerie, Edward, uh, Shaliste, Jessica, Jason, and Andrea, Dave, Deborah, Gil, Glenda, Christine, and Evan, Desiree, William, Rebecca, Carrie, Olivia, Andrew, Rob, Megs, Lenora, Risa, Laura, and Jesse. Holy moly, guys, that's amazing. I know it's been a little while since I posted a video, two or three weeks maybe, but I had a bit of a break for Christmas and the donations came in. I really appreciate it, guys. So I'd like to say thank you for that. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next Explore.